Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Um, I'm just doing a quick follow-up video today. So before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, I'm just doing a video, um, just simply letting you guys know um, why I haven't been uploading and what I am going to be uploading. So um, I went and got myself into some trouble and went back to work. I don't know why I did that. I kind of just wanted to try something else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a busy wife and mother, and I just wanted to go back to work and give it a try, see if it'll work out. And I say I got myself in trouble because babe is not feeling it. She's like, why are you back at work? We can't do this. It's not how we're going to get through our day without you. But I'm at home. I'm working from home. You know, it is kind of busy. Um, things have just been crazy. So, um, first of all, I have some Halloween treat ideas that I'm going to be doing for all the mommies who like to do Halloween treats with their kids. I have some ideas that I want to try. Some of you guys may have already seen these ideas um, yourselves, but I want to show you how quick and easy a lot of these Halloween treats can be. I'm also going to be doing videos on some of my charcuterie boards that are going to be Halloween themed as well. So stay tuned for that. But um, I'll be doing those mostly uh, throughout the month of October, along with some fall desserts um, and things like that. I have not uploaded, you guys, because we have to girl talk. Um, I have to keep looking at my email because my boss is like trying to trying to put me into a dang Zoom per usual. I'm like, I've literally been back at work, you guys, since yesterday. And I've already had like five meetings. Um... So anyways, I have not been uploading for several reasons. Um, my son, my oldest son, he's 24. Um, he is back at home for, um, you know, that he's had some life changes. He's had some exciting news. And then he's had some, you know, some, some changes that a lot of young people have in relationships with, you know, breakups and things like that. Um, but the good thing is that, you know, he's back now. He's been with me for a little bit. The sad thing is that he's going to be leaving me again. He's moving out of state in the next couple of weeks. Um, he took a job out there um, in a different state. So I'm sad about it. But at the same time, I understand he's been out of state before for jobs. And, um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a, an adventurous guy. He takes a lot of leaps of faith and um just gets out there and tries it um he feels that it's a better fit for him because of the fact that you know his life has changed so dramatically out here um so he's just kind of ready um he's got a new girlfriend he's going to be taking them with him and all that so um it's going to be it's going to be good and then the exciting news from him i'll share with you guys later because you know you have to have like a whole setup of this type of exciting news so I am here. I'm coming to you guys from my home office. This is where, what I'm doing today, literally. This is all I'm doing is working. Um, I, in the job that I have, you guys, I work for the state of California. So I'm able to get up and, and down. I'm able to move around my house. I can stop. I can go do some laundry. I can stop. I can open this up and drink some if I want. I can, you know, do a few different things. It doesn't require me to stay plastered. But sometimes when I have a heavy workload or I'm working on a project, I have to kind of just be right here. So I can't tell you if it was a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So that's the main reason why I haven't been posting any videos. Um, if anybody on my channel is from my Facebook, um, I don't know if you guys saw my story or not, but I'm not going to be using Facebook like that uh, pretty much anymore. Um, I will keep it up for, you know, purposes of like reaching out to family sometimes. Um, my mother still uses it, so she'll probably tag me and stuff and send me stuff. Um, but I don't really post on there no more. So all of my uploads from Instagram will be going from Instagram to there. So if you want to stay connected with me, it would be Instagram, TikTok, and then my YouTube. So I just had to put that out there and get that out of the way. So, um, <clears throat> And as far as everything else, though, everything's been great. Everything's been great. I have made some changes around my house I want to show you guys. So, 
where I'm sitting right now, I just dropped my damn pen. Where I'm sitting right now is, hold on, you guys. I got to see if this is a email from my boss. Oh, no. Okay, so where I've been sitting um, was my dining room previously. And then I moved my um, formal dining room. My formal dining room was my office. So now my formal dining room is my formal dining room. So I have made some changes to that. What I'm gonna do is at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a picture. Um, it's either gonna be a picture or a video. I don't know which one um, of what it looked like before I made those changes. But I'm very pleased with the outcome of the changes. There are certain things that I'm going to change um, or add, shall I say. I'm going to take pick my phone up and take it with me. But um, over here, this is my kitchen. So right off my kitchen sat the dining room, right? Um, here's my chandelier that I actually am getting reinstalled. It's kind of crooked. Um that I'm getting pulled from here. I'm having it taken down and I'm moving it over to the formal area. So see, here is my office, you guys. But over this way, we're gonna go, we're passing through the kitchen, is the formal dining room. So I got this all set up, it's really pretty. So I've got it in a rustic, I, I you know, changed it to rustic because I really like rustic. But I also like glam as well. Um, there's my living room back there. I also like glam. So it's more of like a rustic glam. Um, and plus I wasn't going to get rid of every single thing that I have that I purchased that was glam just to turn everything rustic. That's a little ridiculous. So what I did was, let me tell you the changes. And you'll be able to see once the video goes up of um how it looked before so what changes i have done so far is the mirrors i got two of those mirrors from walmart they were only 60 bucks each you guys and they match with my table um i used to have uh, the changes i made too were a different table i used to have a round glass table and i now went out and purchased a square rustic table i purchased this table from the at home store um it came with the bench the bench that it came with matched this but i ended up purchasing the upholstery kind the upholstered one and then um it didn't come with the chairs i had to purchase the chairs but i bought these chairs i really like this little buckle back here super cute um, I also purchased this rug right here. This rug is really pretty. Um, I got this rug from the at-home store as well. It was about um, 200 bucks after, you know, taxes and all that. Um, this here, I pulled this from my bedroom. I had it in my room. Uh, and I decided to put it here because I'm like, you know what? It matches really well with this area. You guys know that when you're using your phone, you can't flip your camera around. So I have to like go like this. So I added in my little pompous grass, a mirror, some sconces, um, some rustic photos from Hobby Lobby, painted my walls over here. We have some up here, some patches we have to work on. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is, there. this is a big opening right here, and it separates this living room here from here. So I'm thinking about adding some, either some really very pretty um, curtain rods with a divider. I'm not sure though, and I'm not sure quite yet. Um, we'll see so i also set up these beautiful glasses here um my wine glasses so whenever you set a table you guys um i definitely am into the etiquette of setting tables 
So whenever you set tables, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on this. So when you're setting a table for an elegant setting, you always want a champagne flute. Okay. And you also want a wine glass or you can do a goblet and a wine glass. So I've got my wine glass here. I purchased these from um, TJ Maxx. Uh, they came four for $12.99. Very elegant, very slender stem on it. Very pretty wine glass. Um, so you always want that. You always want a charger plate. Okay, let's go ahead and set this down here and show you guys. So you always want a charger plate, a dinner plate, a salad plate, and a dessert plate. And then you put your little thing on top if it's a little um, menu, or if you decide upon a pumpkin like I did. So I decided upon pumpkins because it's the fall. I got these cute little pumpkins from um, Home Goods. They were, I think, like. $7.99? I don't know. They could have been... No, they were actually more than that. That was when I was going through my um, my moment of just spending and not caring. Um, I need to stop doing that. So these were like $13 each. Those are glass. And they last, though. That's the good thing is that you can reuse these every single year. So you just put that on the top. And then, of course, you're going to want to have your cloth napkin. So I like to, I prefer to tuck my cloth napkin between my dinner plate and charger just to have it down here. Um, I sometimes, when I know I'm having company, I will place the dinnerware here or the silverware, excuse me. But this time I didn't because sometimes my kids like to touch that kind of stuff. I, have, I, I, I catch them um, from time to time trying to touch the silverware. They'll like oh, I was looking for a fork. I couldn't find one, so I took this one kind of thing, you know. But they never come over here and they never play around in my formal dining room. They, My kids do not destroy any of my stuff, okay? They keep, they're really good. They follow the rules. I have my children very disciplined. Um, they know better, so they're not all in my house breaking stuff or, you know, anything like that. Um, sorry, guys, I got to open them the windows for some light so i will also be showing and filming when i am when i decorate my um table for thanksgiving i'm going to be making one of those really long tables again for the year hold on guys i'm gonna be making a table a very long one um for oh look at this another freaking invite to a meeting i just like i said you guys i just came back to work yesterday and i already have meeting back-to-back -back meetings zoom meetings and it's just driving me crazy so anyhow um yeah so i've been having you know, a few things going on here and there, trying to prepare myself for the holidays. I've got, you know, kids that I've been, you know, trying to get in line. My son's been having his off and on uh, issues. I've been helping him. But again, you know, I, he has like some exciting stuff going on too. So our whole family is happy and excited about this piece of news. So again, I'll share that at another time. So please, you guys, make sure you stay tuned for my other videos. Again, I will be doing a charcuterie board. Um, it's a Halloween-themed charcuterie board. It's going to be cute. I've been trying to think of different ways and different ideas. Um, different ideas that don't really necessarily match with last year's, but they might. They might. Who cares? My kids get really excited. The ideas that I'm going to be doing, you can be doing with your kids as well. So your kids can participate in the making of these treats. And I want to show you guys some of the things that I bought from Costco as well. So um, this year, I'm not going to be passing out actual candy to kids, to trick-or-treaters. But um, I'm, I got these here. This is a really good buy, you guys. There's 70 bags 
in here and they're called bats and jacks and they're pretzels so i bought those for only 6.99 at costco it was on a huge sale so i hurried up and bought it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> these two these are mini cheese balls 60 of them in a pack so i can pass these out to the trick-or-treaters this year which is definitely my intention i'm gonna let my kids go out but my honey's gonna take the kids out this time and i'm just going to stay home and put on some halloween pajamas and just go so let me show you guys some other stuff this one i got from walmart this was on sale for i don't know six or seven dollars but this is a pretzel dipping um, kit. This one's really cool. I've done this before. It comes with the pretzels and it comes with the melting chocolate and they comes in the co colors orange and brown. So your kids can do these very easily. Those are, that's going to be a part of my video. Um, and then at Costco, I got this cookie kit here and it comes with 16 different shapes of cookies along with the frosting and all that, that your kids can decorate and it was only $9.99. So there's 16 cookies in here. Yep. And icing and the candy as well. Super cute. Um, Costco had some really good deals, you guys. And they still have a lot of really good deals going on um, for your children. Buy stuff for your kids and let them just participate in that kind of thing. During this time of the year, me and my kids are always doing some kind of treats. You know, I will put on some Halloween music and I will start baking and I will get them all downstairs. And it's just a fun family bonding thing that we do. Once again, you guys, I said, so my mom bought me this little stand and I really enjoy it. But um, until I get my camera, I have to pretty much carry, you know, the thing around like this. Until I get that part situated, I have to get a camera for sure. Um, I'm looking into the Canon camera. It's like a $700 camera. And, um, you know, of course, Megan's like, hell no, that's too much money. But I told her once I get that camera, believe me when I tell you, I'm going to amp up my, my uh, content that I'm pushing out. Sorry, y'all. I keep looking over here because I have my email up and my boss is sending me stuff. Um, so I'm going to amp up my content for sure. And you guys, I already know I can hit the ground running with YouTube. I just don't have the time. I have so many ideas in my head. Um, you know, I have uh, this thing that, I, that I'm paying for. I'm paying like $35 a week. And it's through YouTube. And they pretty much like assist you with blowing your channel up and I've been paying for it for two months and I'm not even doing anything with it so I can't decide right now if I want to stop paying for it and just you know do my channel how I'm doing it or if I want to continue purchase my camera and turn my YouTube into my family channel or what I don't know yet um, there's just you know I got to get to that time where things kind of settle down a little bit and then I'm able to do that which they will you know and when you're a mom especially a busy mom like myself your life goes literally up and down with one minute you're super busy and then the next minute you have some time i am always on the go you guys i'm always busy from the time i open my damn eyes until the time i go to bed i am busy okay busy um and then i've also had I've been dealing with my daughter, my 14 year old daughter. Um, for those people who know who I am, they already know what kind of situation I have. They know I have four adopted and four biological kids. So one out of those four adopted, she's got some serious issues. She's been in and out of the hospital, psychiatric evaluations, psych psychiatric hospitals, um, and she's been admitted. So she's been there for quite a while and she's going to be there for quite a while. So, you know, that's something else I've been, you know, that's causes, it takes my attention off of certain things and puts it on her. So um, there's just been a lot going on, nothing bad, but you know, when you're busy like me, 
you ain't got time to be making no videos so um yeah you guys but just stay tuned i've got some plans like i said for halloween uh treats to come out and be rolling those videos out you can share these ideas with your friends these ideas you can um do with your children you can do by yourself uh, you can also use these when you're hosting any kind of Halloween party or get together. So it's going to be a um, a fun time making these videos. I don't know if or not I'm going to pull the kids in on these ones or if I'm going to do these by myself and do my own time with them um, because you already know that it gets chaotic with kids, y'all. They'll be talking all in the background and talking all loud and arguing with each other and all kind of stuff. Oh boy. So anyhow, you guys, thank you for watching my, my follow-up. This is like a a little quick chat. That's why the channel's called Girl Talk with Nikki, because I'll mostly be just girl talking. Everything I do is kind of geared towards that. Um, especially when it comes to the cooking and the little cute ideas and the decorating. I just wanted to show you guys also um around the house and how I did the swap so again this was the regular dining room over here where I'm sitting now and that was my office over there really big space for an office I was able to have my desk and my file cabinet and all different things and my children's desk in there and I ran a whole classroom out of there <clears throat> so it was actually um, a really good space but I got tired of not using my space the proper way um, also, we are having a contractor come out, so the contractor is going to put in a put this black chandelier over there. So I'll show you guys. I'll vlog on that and let you guys see how that looks, the before and the after. Um, and then we're probably going to open up the wall in the kitchen to be able to see. Um, right there, to be able to see into the other dining room. So again, you guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, comment, and I will be seeing you guys at the next video.